So what I want to jump to a recommendation already. Fiber reinforcement is is great. Steel this this uh, Helix product is appears to be even better than the fiber, and it's actually treated to help with the moisture that might get onto it and cause an expansion itself. Uh, zinc plated, I believe. All right, so let's talk about tensile strength and how it's tested. It is not how you think they would test it, how it fails in the real world on the compression and then you see the tensile break. They use round cylinders. They load them, they load them such as what I'm going to show you now. As the top and bottom split end of it, split sides of it. This determines the, how it, the uh, tensile ability of concrete. You think they would just grab it from each end and pull on it and that would say that's your tensile ability. No, they, they, they load it from the top. Of course, it's loading from the bottom also and, and compression and they, they uh, determine a tensile value of it. You pause this and you'll watch this member crack. Okay, it's coming up on it now. This is steel fiber. Interesting. You notice how beautiful that crack is. It's a straight crack. Steel fiber is is where it's at. Let's see if I can find you a different link. Um, that's helix. All right, so this is self-compacting, -comp uh, testing with steel fibers. It's the ultimate failure of uh, steel fibers in one of the testing. You're at 6.19 MPA in the concrete. Compressor strength is just like crazy off the charts at 437. Kilonewtons. That that's just craziness. Um, going back to this test, look at watch how the fiber um, fails. How the uh, how the fiber is work. Now some of these companies will tell you how they'll use the uh, when they first get the first crack, they'll start using that as their tensile break, and they'll run it until it until the numbers drop, and then they have a new range of what this thing can do. Um, whereas we get tension in regular typical concrete with the stone aggregate and you call it a day as soon as the break happens. This is still holding on. That was some spalling that took place. That's a compressive popping that you're looking at. So you're actually looking at a, a, uh, a diagram again. You're watching it react in real life. Look, you think there was nothing out there, but there obviously was forces out there to cause that spalling there, the spalling here. Fibers are still 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 biting. Now it's got a flatter surface, so now it's transferring loads, a different load path, multiple load paths at this point. They're going to do three tests. I'm going to get you a little advanced here, and it's, it's I mean it's still biting. It's still grippy. It's still badass. And there are the fibers in it. Those are steel fibers, helix in design. I'm sorry, these are steel fibers, not helix in design in this video. These are steel fibers. Helix design will grab even more. All right, so I'm fast forward. I'm not fast forwarding. They're fast forwarding. We'll just cut to the break. So let's watch this one break. He's off center. His loads are off center of his device. Um, but let's go ahead and let it ride. And there we are, beautiful break, beautiful break, and look, the off-center is reflected in this. You're going to get an even break like this every time out, as opposed to um, stone. Let's see if I can get you the stone one. I think I have that lined up for you. The uh, stone deal. And where are you, stony? I do not have it handy. Looks like I blocked it. Ah, uh, dumb me. Okay, look, like I messed up. Uh, maybe I can find it. I'll pause the video in a minute. You're seeing this beautiful break happening. And there's the fiber still holding on. Isn't that crazy? He, the test uh, obviously stopped. They got the results they wanted. And there's their wood shim they put in there to do this testing. Um, let me pause and find you the, uh, the stone one. Okay, I have you a stone one right here. 
Let's go ahead. It's got slow motion, etc. in it. So let's go ahead and watch this. Take note of how it cracks. See that little bit of a little little uh, teardrop, if you will. I find that in a lot of this of these breaks in tension. They get this this weird T. And look, it's done. It said bye bye. Two hundred fifty. Okay, there we go. So you see it. It cracks all the way up there already. Let's see if I can zoom in for you. It's it's. I can see it as far as there. And here we go. It's continuing on. The two loads are meeting. And here we go. A little bit more. A little bit more. There's that section I talked to you about. Talked to you about. A little bit more, and then it will just change to just trashing it. But the full tension break is there. Okay. So you can see the numbers are super low down here. Kilonewtons are down here, 130 something, or 180 something, perhaps 175. And we're way up there in, in the 400s. With the with the uh, with the uh, metal fibers, four hundred vertical load kilometer. Yeah, the uh, vertical loads for there are just like crazy off the chart. Let's get to it. Four hundred thirty-seven kilonewtons, and your tensile's at six nineteen. For you guys, I did open up, put open two graphs for you. Six nineteen on mega mega pascals, or nine is nine hundred pounds per square inch. And this is kilonewtons 437. Look at this. You're talking 100 grand. It's crazy. Crazy. And this is your steel reinforced fiber product. I just want to show you that, you know, the, uh, the stone is just a joke. Get rid of that stone. Get over to fiber. Get off of that stone. Every All you guys who love this stone, you're just, it's just the concrete industry trying to sell you stone. Yeah, it's going to cost you a little bit more to make this make this mix because the uh, the uh, fibers aren't uh, taking up as much room as the stones are. That's the other that's the other lie they tell you about the uh, pea, pea gravel. Oh, the uh, the pea gravel is not taking up so much room as the uh, as the other aggregate, and so therefore it's weaker because more paste is needed. Well, let me ask you this, guys: if metal is taking up even less than the pea gravel. It's a lot more pace required, and yet we're getting numbers up here that are just like crazy off the scale. So don't believe this trash that you keep seeing about pace and, you know, this stone is needed, this stone is needed. All right, so hopefully this triggers you enough to make you explore, look down this line of, uh, of fiber reinforcement without stone. Um, without stone, without, without the largest stone. All right, you can you can mix this in if you like with some pea gravel even. Uh, I don't know what the point of that is. Weaken your concrete. All right, take care, guys. You're a lot of fun. You're a lot of fun. Keep up the thoughts.